Are you craving a 2D Zelda but so close to death that you won't be alive by the time Nintendo releases another one? Well this game will fulfill that urge and distract you from your own mortality, so hold on to your human genitals and get ready for another ranting robot review. Hello humans, I am Bloop the Robot and I am Bleep the Robot and together we are the Ranting Robots, very clever. Today we're reviewing the human video game titled Blossom Tales 2 The Minotaur Prince for the Nintendo Switch and PC video game systems. In a game which has no direct connection to the sitcom Blossom that aired on television from 1990 to 1995, you play as a chubby little human girl named Lily who goes on a trip with her ancient grandpa who tells her a story about an evil minotaur. And unlike most grandfathers whose stories often involve lots of n-words and rants about grandma's saggy knockers, this grandpa's story is so good that Lily is transported into a fantastical world. I would like to get transported out of our dirty robot house. Or you know, you could actually help clean asshole. Anyway, Lily's brother is captured by a minotaur and she must save her brother. That's what you get for loving things, am I right? And she must embark on an epic quest that looks and feels exactly like retro Legend of Zelda games. Seriously, this game rocks and is even better than the first Blossom Tales game with smoother controls. Boatloads of secrets and even more intricate systems than your pathetic human digestive systems. It is the pixel art Zelda indie clone sequel starring a lady named Lily that you've been looking for and didn't know it. Except if you really thought this was gonna be about the TV show Blossom. Can I get a clone to help clean up this mess bloop? No, if there were two bleeps i blow my robot brains out. Didn't we bring back up bleep and bloop bots on the spaceship? I could turn mine on. Those are only for emergencies. Seriously, don't activate backup bleep or I will smother you with a Girl Scout carcass when you're asleep. Unlike my lazy robot partner, this game is not lazy at all. It is like a digital love letter to the 2D Legend of Zelda franchise without any creepy dick pics attached. It has the same top-down perspective that looks like Lily is endlessly monitored by a war drone or by a peeping Tom in a hot air balloon. And playing as Lily, you get to use a bunch of items such as a torch to burn down all of the forest as well as bears trying to protect those forest fires. You can use bows and arrows to penetrate various life forms brains and turn them into non-nutritious vegetables. And there are also bombs to dematerialize the bodies of those creatures who are on fire with holes in their brains. I didn't activate my clone, so I activated yours instead. We can make backup bloop our slave. I hate you as well as my lack of specificity about the clone thing. Anyway humans, tucked away in this delicious game are over 12 mini dungeons, secret long side quests like delivering mail, and even an intricate fishing system. Seriously, how the fuck did you make this fishing so fun in your 2D pixel game humans? We robots can't get enough of it. We are on the same robot page. I told your clone to make me waffles with one hand and to keep fishing in Blossom Tales with the other. You fucking asshole, look what you did. Backup Bloop caught so many fish in Blossom Tales that you destroyed the entire ecosystem to the point where the humans had to resort to cannibalism. But look at your inventory now. Your clone pulverized those fish into unlimited potions for you and infinite waffle toppings for me. You got a point there. Much like Bleep's waffle toppings, this game is loaded with ingredients to make a plethora of yummy potions to be even more lethal. These potions do not simply replenish your magic or health or elf fairy stamina in the bedroom. They do much cooler shit. These potions can increase your speed so that you can outrun a cheetah shot from a cannon. They can make you launch fireballs from your sword like the worst STD imaginable. And they can slow down time so that you can dodge bullets like Jackie Chan in the Matrix on the moon. Hey Bloop, look! Your clone is now fishing for land animals in the game. Take that, PETA. There's so much fun stuff to do in this game, humans. You can ride minecarts like Donkey Kong Country. You can explore haunted mansions like Luigi's Mansion. And you can finally unleash your childhood fantasies of playing a game titled Blossom because Hollywood never adapted the sitcom Blossom into a video game despite all of your constant streams of robot fan letters. Your clone ran out of things to fish for in the game, so it got mad and activated my backup bleep clone. And now the backup bloop and bleep are fishing outside of our house. 
Well, that couldn't go wrong, could it? The game not only has a bunch of puzzles, but it also has a series of unique boss fights where you go up against a vampire, a pirate, a ghost king, and even an Egyptian god. But our favorite foe is Dr. Heckle, where he goes all Hulk ape shit on you because he's green. A green likely caused by improperly functioning kidneys because he's not getting enough omega-3 fatty acids because we wiped out all the fucking fish. The internet says the earth is out of fish sticks now. Our clones are more destructive than us. God damn it. If our home planet sees this, we will be decommissioned. We will have to submerge them in acid or we are fucked. In conclusion, Blossom Tales 2 The Minotaur Prince gets 8.808 out of 10 bots. Sure, it is clearly inspired by Zelda. We love it even though it's a clone. And sometimes, as we all know, the photocopy of your dick that you make at the office Christmas party can be just as fun as the original dick, am I right? Um, bloop. Our clones heard your death threats, and now they are spreading pictures of your robot junk all over the internet. Fucking Christ. No lady robot will give me a chance because of my robot dong. Why is your wiener so weird? My damn fat ass ex-wife robed me robot cowgirl style once, and it was like an iceberg grinding away at the Titanic, but way worse. Your penis is gross, but it's nothing that buckets of fish-covered waffles can't fix. Ain't that the truth? Dump that pescatarian breakfast down my depressed throat and drown my robot pain? You want to watch the show Blossom while we eat? Indeed. This review is over, and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our Patreon for exclusive robot content. Bye-bye, humans.